question and answer time. Ring the happy bell, get your crunk cup ready, have a seat and get ready to be jolted. I'm really excited to start a weekly series called Question and Answers with JNL. I'm grateful to have been in the industry, I'm having a party over here, since 2003, 17 years, and I love to offer value, insight, inspiration, and take your questions personally. You guys sent in a slew of questions, and I cannot wait to jump right in. First and foremost, if anything, please subscribe to my channels, share out this video, anything we can do together to stay connected as I wanna really invest in making 2020 a successful year for you because you deserve to put on that crown da -da -da, every day. And I'm gonna help you keep your crown shiny because your future is so bright. You gotta wear shades, honey. Okay, what? Woo, okay, let's see what we're giving away first and foremost. Now, I'm looking for the most interactive viewers, those that give the comments and add to what I'm saying and maybe even ask a question, throw in a question. I'm gonna be shipping out these beautiful Bluetooth T450 BT JBL by Harman, pure bass sound, music controls in the ear cup, 11 hour battery life, beautiful. I wanna keep these for myself. I actually have them in black, I love them, but I'm gonna give these away and an autographed book or two, okay? So get interactive. Let's break the algorithm of Instagram and of Facebook. Love you guys. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Reba. Let's jump right into it. I don't want to waste your time. So let's do it. First question was, okay, what are my thoughts on keto? Well, keto, as we know, the ketosis diet, it is a high fat, 10 times more than the daily recommended fat source. You're going to have a lot of fat, low carb. So it's a really like low to no carb high fat diet. Now, it's great to jump start, but you gotta stay in ketosis. And that's a little bit difficult if you're traveling, if you're going out to eat, and um, nothing against it. I know it's worked great for some people, but for me, I do not embrace it for my personal wellness program because I don't like a lot of high fatty foods. If I do, it's like avocados, not bacon, right? It's like gonna be, you know, healthy fats. So I'm seeing in the keto diet that you're eating a lot of bacon, so it's kind of hard for vegans to do that. So in closing, keto diet, I like the keto oil. It works really great. It is just an M medium chain triglyceride oil. So I do like that. I've tried some of the keto protein shakes, protein bars, cool. But for me personally, it just doesn't work well. But if you're doing it and you're getting results, keep at it. One thing I've heard from people that have done the keto diet is that they could not stick with it. It wasn't sustainable. It wasn't a sustainable way of eating and it was hard for them to keep it up. So they went back and carbs are everywhere. They're in ketchup. They sneak in in some of the weirdest places like ketchup and things and bananas. You can't eat banana and I love banana and you can't eat apple. Oh my God, low. what was me an apple? So I do like fruits and vegetables. So that's my take on keto. What do you guys think? Yes, very hard to sustain. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, I love the feedback avocado we love it that takes me to um do i believe in intermittent fasting i believe in fasting in between bites that's the only time i like to fast no that's a joke you can laugh <laughs> intermittent fasting you know what if you stop eating at six seven o'clock at night and you don't eat again until after your morning workout that's intermittent fasting now i used to call it the zigzag diet where you would zigzag you would eat a you know you would not eat and then you would eat that is great because if you're grazing and eating all day, you're like eating all day, right? And you might not be burning off fat very well. Now, intermittent fasting is not good for people who have low blood sugar or diabetic. So I wanna really make sure you understand that. If it works for you, go for it. I see some people on Instagram and on Facebook, they're eating like humongous amounts of food in a short window of time and then they don't eat. I don't believe in that gorge and purge eating. Now, if intermittent fasting works for you, congratulations. I'm not here to bash anyone, shame anyone, or make anyone feel bad, and I'm not here to make enemies, that's for sure. I see other fitness experts saying, this diet's bad, and that's bad. 
if it works for you that's why i always say there's no cookie cutter program that whatever works for you in my vip program we've got vegan we've got plant-based we've got carnivore flexitarian paleo we've got gluten-free we have one lady that was keto now she's gone to vegan it's i was vegan for three and a half years i'm gonna talk about that so whatever works for you but again intermittent fasting i don't think it's anything new it's just a catchphrase and if you're eating your last meal around six or seven at night and then you wake up because you're not eating when you sleep and you wake up and then you have your next meal after you work out and you're doing a fasted workout, um, yeah, that's kind of like intermittent fasting. So way to go. I love it. Awesome, awesome. Um, Jackie says you can try them all. Isn't that the fun thing, Jackie? You can. Sally says my body with all my chronic illnesses didn't like keto maybe made me worse and said there are good aspects I kept. I like it. Leave what you don't want and keep what you like. You know, that's the whole thing about what works for you. There is no cookie cutter. Do this program and see what happens. All right, moving on. How do I stay motivated? I love this one. I kind of made up a term and I look precursor. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be crude, but I was like, men take Viagra to get a certain result. Why don't we invent in our minds like motivational Viagra? What? Like, can we take something to help us get into that state of where we are just at our peak state? We're excited. We are motivated. What that is, is my pre-workout jolt. It is a jolt. It, my jolt is my motivational Viagra. I do it for me. I do it for our VIPs. It gets me fired up. It gets me seeing like a bull, seeing red because I evoke my pain. I remember when I was overweight, fat, lethargic, had no goals, yes. And then I remember what I am now. And it's like motivational Viagra. It gets me so jolted that I'm like, yes, I can't wait to train. I get to train, not, oh, I have to work out today. No, after I get my mindset right, I'm all like, where is the workout? Where are the weights? I cannot wait to bang them out and sweat and earn my shower and kiss my abs and have fun, right? Michelle says, the jolts keep me highly motivated. The pre-workout wakes my spirit. Exactly, because there, I love motivation, but I want to give you a little bit more of an insight. I'm more in a psychology, but did you know that there is persuasion? Get this, this is the kicker, I'm getting chills. And if you get anything out of this question and answer with me, I want you to remember this. There's persuasion, but then there's pre persuasion. What is that, JNL? That's where my coaching comes into play. See, okay, we all know where we have a workout at 8 a.m. We're persuaded to do it. But I need to get the pre persuasion in where you get fired up. You get excited. You start that adrenaline release in your blood. You start feeling it and you start getting excited for the workout. That's rewiring you. That's changing your habits from a deep, deep level. It's like rewiring your whole like aspect of how you view working out to make it consistent and not only that make it fun so remember pre persuasion okay psychology hacks mind hacks the mind cracker so you get to have the success that you deserve all right guys moving on i really like this part of our question and answer so how do i stay motivated motivational viagra the pre-workout jolt okay to keep our motivation hard and happy okay and again i'm not trying to be rude or crude next question should i eat before my workout it depends you know you know you're lifting heavy you need to eat but around your workout say you're working out 8 to 9 a.m in the morning you know it's going to be hefty and your goal is to gain muscle you need to eat before and after but if you want to maintain and you don't want to gain any more size I, this is what I do. I do a fasted workout, but I do either a keto oil to get my fat burning and give a little energy. And then I'll do an apple cider vinegar shot if I want to, because we just got off the challenge, which I really loved. And then I'll work out and then I'll eat right after. I'll eat like oatmeal and egg whites, like consistently. Like Steve Jobs always had that turtleneck and jeans on. And our friend Mark Zuckerberg is always wearing that gray t-shirt. I'm like consistency, that works for me. I'm gonna stay with it, right? So, um, depends. If you want to lose weight, do a fasted workout, but make sure you're eating right after because the most important meal of the day is not your breakfast. It's actually your post-workout meal. That's what the industry doesn't tell you, okay? So, love it. Antonella says, rewiring is scientifically proven today. Yes! Small meal before and after. Way to go, Jackie. You like it. Like it. There you go. Oh, and if you work out at 2 p.m. Now, I, you have to definitely eat something if your workout is later on in the day. Great question, Elizabeth. So this way you're not starving yourself and shutting down your metabolism. Good, perfect. Okay, 
Should I eat after my workout? We all agree yes, because that's when you need to create that environment in your body for those muscle gains. Okay, how much protein do I need? Again, it depends. Do you wanna maintain or do you wanna gain? Okay, so it depends. You wanna take how much you weigh and then times that by one and that's how many grams of protein you need. Awesome, now remember protein is hair, skin, and nails. Also, moving more importantly for women, collagen. Ladies, please get your collagen in. It is the building blocks of hair, skin, and nails. You don't wanna start sagging, so get yourself a collagen protein. Um, collagen pills get a multi collagen mix so you're getting the bones you're getting the egg you're getting a lot of that to help with your hair skin and nails okay it's gonna it's like the fountain of youth that's a whole other question and answer I'm gonna save that for next week all right moving on should I eat after my workout yes do I believe in the vegan diet absolutely you know I was a proud vegan for three and a half years and I say that with such pride it was such an amazing food plan it made me eat so many more tons of fruits and vegetables and i still juice daily and i love it and i still love vegetables even though i'm not no longer vegan i do highly recommend it because i think we need to do a meatless monday i think we all need to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into our program because fruits and vegetables fight disease okay now i started um, incorporating some egg whites back into my diet then a little bit of red meat here and there and i feel like where i'm in a happy place but however it is a great Great program. So if you're looking just to get more high vibrational foods in your food program and to have more energy, to feel younger, have just this natural aura, I highly suggest it. It is awesome, but just make sure you're doing it smart. You're not eating all the unhealthy, I see a lot of unhealthy vegan things out there too, okay, with a vegan nut cheese and it's like all these desserts. So you wanna make sure you're eating whole foods, right? Perfect, awesome. And I know well, we have a lot of great, beautiful vegans in our VIP group like Jackie, love you and Elizabeth you're always posting tons of fruits and vegetables and I know Susan shout out to Susan and also Antonella you guys are doing awesome perfect okay how to land a magazine cover Woo, that was a good one you know what you want to really join forces with the publication you want to know who the editor is you want to build a relationship with them build trust with them let them know that you're gonna go above and beyond to support their publication and to work with them you don't have to be the youngest the hottest the prettiest or the most in shape you can submit your success story just go to your newsstand and reach out to these publications. And from me being in, in business with them for so long, I'm grateful to have our VIP group in this one, which is the Strong Magazine for January. And then this is another one that just hit the newsstands. So it's just about building the relationships with them and not being afraid to reach out. Go to the newsstand, find your favorite female fitness magazines, your wellness magazines. Any magazine you want to be in, you can become your own publicist, and I need to talk more about that. Okay, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Share your story. Everyone has a Cinderella story. That's what they're looking for, the triumph story. Have them fall in love with you because you're an overcomer and you're a winner, right? Perfect. Okay, how to gain priceless key media exposure. Ladies, look, Justin Bieber was discovered on YouTube. Keep putting yourself out there. Keep putting your message out there. Keep impacting lives and also go to the key media like i got myself booked on oprah winfrey show just by emailing harpo studios on the website the internet age there's so much opportunity so don't be afraid to get your digital press kit together get your your whole business of you know you can do a marketing guide get it out to the right key medias get yourself booked you can hire an agent you can hire a publicist but they're very expensive and you can do it yourself I like it, like it, like it, like it. Thank you, Antonella, for clarifying that. It and also follow JNL Fun Fit Foodie. Love it. Keep it going, guys. I'm gonna go through all these questions. You guys sent so many questions. How to dissect yourself from everybody else? Well, you know what? Don't fit in. I got some of the worst advice when I started my fitness modeling career. Don't make any waves. Just fit in. Don't call attention to yourself. You know, just kind of go with the flow. And I was like, no. By the way, there were it was not cool to be a mom when I came into the scene. It was all hot, young, pretty, dateable women. And I was like, no, I'm a mom, I'm married, I have kids, I was fat, like only a year ago. This is my before photo. I didn't fit in, so don't fit in. That's how you can gain a great traction and dissect yourself from the pack. Be authentically you, okay? Be authentically you. Moving on, how, okay, so as you guys know, we just released this book. I wasn't even looking to do a book, but the opportunity, just like from God above, another miracle just hit me on the head, and I was like, let's do it, because the VIP program is on fire. This question is, how can I publish a book in less than three months? Because I kind of signed the deal with this in November, and now here we are. 
during the holiday season. I'm very grateful. You just need to find the right team. If you're interested, you want more information about the publishing team that I use, who I really highly recommend, reach out to me. I'm here to help you. And they're gonna kind of take you through the step. But first of all, you need a manuscript. No one's gonna write it for you. And I did not use a ghost writer. It's in my voice. You guys, when you read it, you're gonna hear me talk, reading it in my, my words. So have your manuscript ready to go, what you wanna offer. So sit down, chain yourself to your desk, for however long it takes to bang out that book. Now, if you need coaching advice on how to write a book, you can reach out to me. I use a certain method to get my books out because as you guys know, you know, I've written many books. This is my 16th book. So um, with the knowledge and expertise, I'm here to help you. Reach out to me. You can email me at thejennifernicoli at gmail.com. Um, many of you have the Bikini Model Diet Book, the Fitness Model Diet Book, the Mind, Body, and Soul Diet Book, and the Fun Fit Foodie, on and on and on but reach out to me i'm here to help you with that all right moving on moving on okay this is amazing how to decide on what fitness federation to compete in we have the ifbb we have the mpc and we have the wbff now they're all different okay so if you're watching this most importantly you're going to be more interested in bikini not bodybuilding or figure physique you're going to be more in bikini which is line soft proportion symmetry wbff from my experience is more expensive and they do it in these lavish over-the-top hotels like their las vegas show is in the bellagio where npc is like you know they're going to do it at any auditorium so it's like you're paying for the experience and it's more about a beauty pageant wbff which i actually won this in it's all beat up. She's barely hanging on. I won this in 2008 or 2009, but they've just grown and now they're doing it all over. So long story short, decide, do you want more of an experience, an over the top, opulent beauty fashion, beauty pageant experience? Like they want you to stand out. They want shoes with feathers on them. They want shoes that are six inches tall. They want, and you can only use their hair and makeup team. You can only use their tanning team. So it's very in-house where NPC and IPB, they're different. They're all about rules and regulations and not really about self-expression it's more about um your your technique and your posing and your lines and your symmetry and things like that so that's just a little scratch tip of the iceberg i could go a whole hour on that but um so think about do you want more glamour or do you want more straightforward athletic uh judging on that perfect okay da -da -da -da. What's the best way to lose fat consistently? Consistently, just being consistent, watching your food. I always say that abs are made in the kitchen. Um, abs are made in the kitchen. And workout, you know, it's 80% nutrition. So don't you cannot out-train your diet. Alcohol is a big no-no because it shuts down your metabolism. Hate to be a party pooper and a buzzkill about that. Of course, fried foods, condiments, Soy sauce makes you bloat up, it helps, helps you to trap water weight, and you don't want that. You want lots of lemon water and lots of detoxing food, pineapple, watermelon, asparagus, lean sources of protein. So that's the best way, and working out consistently. I like to do HIT high intensity interval training. You do your strength for 30 seconds, and then you do your fat blasting cardio for 30 seconds. You weave it in and out, you have endless energy, okay? Thank you guys for all of the thumbs up and the love. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now moving on, we have time for three more questions, okay? Okay, what's the difference between weight machines and free weights? For me, I love using free weights because you can't cheat, you gotta use your own body. If you have doing weights in the machine, you are actually having just one plane of motion, but say you're doing a chest press on a bar that's a weight machine, it's kinda like kinda do it for you almost where you're doing a shoulder press or a chest press with weights in your own, at home, your body has got to come, you're calling all the muscles to coordinate together and it's that much more of a challenge. So I prefer free weights over uh, machines because I feel like I'm challenging myself more. Okay, you're really using everything. You're using your core all the time. Great question. So we have time for two more. I wanna pick two good ones, okay? All right, da, 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 da. how do I get rid of my flabby arms? Okay, we all have that back arm bra fat right here. Well, you know what? Triceps, toning, also working the opposite muscle biceps, and of course, nutrition, okay? You can do the cellulite cream, hot burning cream. You can massage the fat away, and you can use your massage rollers, which I also love to do. And I also believe in skin brushing, skin brushing. All right, I'm looking for who is gonna be 
the winner here. Lemon water all the way, Lula. Woo! <laughs> Love it. All right, good. Flabby arms. Okay, two more questions. How often should I work out? It depends on if you're maintaining or you want to lose weight. Now, I often say four to six times a week is great. No less than four, no more than six. You need a day of rest just for your mental break and also prepare for the rest of the week for your next round of workouts. Great question. All right, last but not least, do I need to take supplements? Well, I believe in supplementing, but if you're eating enough whole foods, you really shouldn't. But I do like the keto oil. I do like to have a multivitamin once in a while. I also like to boost my immune system with an emergency or true formula. Um, I have a beautiful friend on right here, Sally. We had a great talk about we should always be eating as if we are sick. What does that mean? To boost your immune system, tons of vitamin C, tons of just nutrients and vitamins, over hydrating your body, okay? So great question, guys. I really enjoyed this wonderful question and answer. Let's do it again next week, same time, same place, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna announce the winner. I'm just gonna read. Here we go, workouts are best. Way. I do three to five. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you know what? Um, I wanna just say, first of all, thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. I love all of you guys and you, your interaction, your energy is great. Now, if you're a VIP member, congratulations. If not, join jnlvip.com. We are growing every day. We are just, just crushing our goals for 2020. You need to rock your resolution. Rock your resolution. Rock your VIP power. Um, someone that really popped out on today's call is Jackie. I just wanna say thank you to Jackie. She was really from the star answering a lot of the questions and adding. So Jackie Morasco, you're getting a lucky pair of your wireless beats and an autographed book. And to everyone else, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I love what I do. And I want to leave you this little motivational Viagra before we, <laughs> before we sign off. Okay, a little post question and answer jolt. You should be so proud of yourself because you're here. Stay thirsty, stay hungry, stay wanting to learn more. And that's the great thing about our VIP program. It's all about learning, listening to yourself. It's not about do this diet and then come back in two weeks and you don't even know where I am as a coach. So congratulations for being willing to learn and to open up your spirit again. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Maybe you tried in the past to do what you wanted to do, but you failed flat on your face and you didn't have the support. But guess what? The past doesn't equal the future. You can and you will crush your goals this year. But you need a coach that cares and you need a supportive team of like-minded women. So you're doing it, guys. I'm so excited about all the success breakthroughs that you're having in this new year, in this new decade. And just know that someone out there is silently rooting for your rise. Just silently sending you tons of positive energy for you to keep going on your journey. Love you, Susan. Thank you, Michelle. Congratulations, Jackie. Lula, yes, dry brushing. Thank you, Antonella, all the way from Zurich. Michelle in Canada, all of our beautiful hairs. Rita, hi, Rita, all your employees are jealous. Tell them to join JNLVIP.com. Love it. Oh, you like my dress? Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I'll give a little twirl. <laughs> Love you, ladies. Keep shining, and I will see you guys soon. Smile and be well. Love you. Love you. Love you. And I'll see you tomorrow for our deep detox, sexy sculpt and stretch. We need to roll out this inner thigh. Like, what? Body is so sore. I'm surprised I'm even standing right now. Love you guys. God bless you. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Lula. Bye, guys.